Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my impressions, my first look at Pine. Now, when Pine was first announced a while back, like on a Nintendo Direct or something, I saw it maybe even at E3. I was like, wow, I wanted to check that out. It looked like a huge open world single player game experience that the Switch, I feel still needs now we got witcher out now we got breath of the wild we have skyrim but it's always good to have these bigger games and something just attracted me to it and i always wanted to check it out now that it's here it's been out for a few weeks i'm finally able to sit down and just kind of mess around with it and get an initial impression now i know a game like this is obviously going to take several hours to check out fully and stuff like that and <laughs> this is an impressions video so i'm gonna play it for probably just enough to where i can get some early thoughts about it this ain't a full-fledged review um it's been out a while so i'm sure everybody that wants to get it or check it out has already done so uh i just feel like it's time i've been so busy i had the game chasers movie and wow is this a loading screen or what i've been stuck on this loading screen since i've been talking that's one bad sign that i do not like in my games is really long loading screens i get it it's a big open world type of game and the switch is underpowered to an extent but if the load times are this long it's a bad omen for me i mean like lego city undercover on wii u had some bad load times i even think the switch version was still kind of long um just look at this like <laughs> how long is this loading screen going to last um that's no way no in my department i've already been for almost two minutes on a loading screen um yeah okay here we go finally so this is the uh beginning of the game i kind of just uh wanted to start it and uh take a look at it looking at it initially the graphics of course they they look a little scratchy on the edges um lots of fog in the distance so like like look at that lots of fog and stuff i guess that kind of helps with the loading <laughs> it makes everything that looks so barren um some slight pop in look at that grass look at the detail of the grass slightly pop in so i guess there is some small graphical issues that nothing a patch can't fix so hopefully this gets patched sometime um i haven't read up much on this game and uh, i've seen anybody else talk about it um thing that caught my eye and i know it's kind of a cop out to say is that it was an open world game that reminded me a lot of legend of zelda to an extent so that's mostly why i wanted to check it out so let's uh let's continue on right here right on time we wanted to call the tree house done but the rocks it stand on are so brittle consult with gary he wouldn't listen she has some stiff rope and stuff cloth all right so you know most games like this have you do like little fetch quest and things of that nature uh, early on in the game so I'm not surprised oh, there is a jump button so that's good yeah trust me didn't you know that breath of wild was like one of the first games that link could jump with a button here we go all right so it's not stable enough nonsense how's this if they insist much too busy you can use the man rail and crate all right um Received an idea. Hold A. I'm going to get some Mamrud. And uh, let's go ahead and get whatever this is over here. The Stuff Cloth. I like that. Stuff Cloth. That's what it's named. Okay. Hey, you. Do you have some Stuff Cloth? Too busy with today's laundry. Anyone to teach you how to make Stuff Cloth? All right. So I'm getting some crafting elements and stuff. Let's grab some gravel moss, some maro hay. So we got the stuff. And um, where are we going to take it? Where do we craft at? Let's grab some gravel moss. Very excited. Finally moving our treehouse. Must be great. Happy for you, Khan. A con! I don't watch much in way of uh, Star Trek. I just, I just had to say that. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, I'm finding all sorts of stuff for me to pick up and grab. So maybe... 
Let's hope that story materials will be big enough. Um, where can I do some crafting at? Menu? Okay, uh, crafting. There we go, up top. Okay, so let's, let's, let's create. Let's hold Y. And let's hold Y. Okay, so grabbed it and let's take it. That was a lot easier than I anticipated, which is a good thing. Let's hope it does the trick. Trees aren't growing as fast as they should, so it will be in short supply. All right, so forgive me if I rush through any of the dialogue. I find dialogue uh, to be a little tedious in my opinion. I know you can miss plot elements and stuff, but when you're watching somebody play, you're you're not really watching me to read the story right now. I, I the videos I make, I feel that you guys are watching to to gauge whether the game looks good or not. So I don't want to bore you guys reading all the dialogue. I just kind of like skim through it. But if you guys don't mind reading the dialogue, feel free to let me know. All right, so here we go. Look at this guy. Everybody has like a sweet ponytail. I used to have long hair back in the day. So I'm the most slimy. If you squint your eyes on up, blah blah blah. You should never look away. There's so much to explore and see. All right, and it looks like there's some hay right there. So uh, let's go ahead and get going. Let's grab this hay. Some marrow hay. All right, where's the ceremony? Looks like it's down here a little bit, so let's go ahead and proceed. All right, sweet. I got myself a slingshot. That's cool. Nice. Shoot the contraption. Where's the contraption? I don't see a contraption. Is this... Is that the contraption? Let's shoot it. There we go. I didn't even see like a little marker or anything. I just figured why not. But yeah, you can see the semblances to Legend of Zelda. Let's go ahead and get inside here and uh, explore a little bit. See what we got going on. First dungeon, guys. I'm a little excited, right? Is it a dungeon? Who knows? All right, so we're going inside. Let's explore the cavern. Check it out, Hugh. This looks like a real adventuring tool. Another one you should grab. It. Oh, look. I got a sword now. Old pine wood sword. Try fighting with him. Swing it a few times. Should look really powerful. So, ZR. How do you swing? Okay, there we go. Got to equip. Right behind you. Head. Camera's just everywhere. Jesus Christ. Okay. Kick in between attacks. Alright, so I can't even interact with him. Why does it tell you to sword fight with him? That's weird. Tap B and then Z. Do a poke. Alright. Check this one out. Is he teaching me how to fight? That's cool. Oh, shoot. He crashed through a wall. I gotta go save him now, probably. So, great. Go help him. Are you alright? He's fine. Lost his balance. Does he get out of here? Can you see any way out? There's a wooden door. A small note. It says left, left, right. So, I'm guessing there's going to be like a puzzle. Maybe. Maybe. Loud and clear. Block from the side too, as he said again. Left, left, right. Alright, so. Let's switch. And I love the aiming on this. Because it's, it's actually really good. So left. Left. Right. Right? Let's see if I can open yours now. There he goes. Alright. Light puzzle elements. Not bad at all. Got in and got out. So <laughs> I'm digging that. Want to go a bit further? I don't know. It's pretty close. We're both still here. Come on. Please some food if you have any and get going. 
Ooh, we're going deep into the dungeon. Let's eat some food. And, uh... Alright, so there was a ceremony that happened and some stuff happened. Now I'm down on the bottom. And there's, like, an animal talking to me. I guess I'm actually in the open world. I got past the prologue and stuff like that. So I completed the ceremony quest. Now I'm doing a nose for adventure. And I think the world has opened up quite a bit more for me. So that's exciting. Let's come across and let's grab some more of this wood. And let's interact with homie. It's like a little little bear cat thing on a, on a big elephant camel. Looks weird. The name is Oath. One of the Tambas. We travel, we study, we practice politics. Okay. You get this bridge fixed. Help me find some marwood and stiff rope. Some food and okay so another fetch quest basically but here we go let's get some items you know it's nothing i hadn't done uh you know it's classic zelda 101 type of stuff i need some stiff rope so i think i could create that let's go to crafting and uh create one two all right and we'll back out i think we have it biggity bang we created the resources that was easy a little too easy explosive keg hit it with something all right so i uh just got an explosive keg i'm gonna plant it and we're going to go inside this cave thing i'm a bobber another cave already Seems pretty uh, linear now. Let's uh, let's grab that. Set the keg. Let's hold A. Oh nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to place it down. Let's place that sucker down, and uh, let's hit it. Right? Maybe that way. Oh, nope. I think I might have to actually... Oh. Did I just kill myself? <laughs> God dang it. Oh, okay. Note to self, guys. Do not hit the keg with your sword. I mean, that was that was obviously um, <laughs> common sense, right? But I, I, I used the slingshot on it twice and it didn't work. So what the hell, man? Now I gotta sit through another long loading screen great all right so let's try not to screw that up again and have to sit through another two minute freaking loading screen because i just got done doing that i gotta say my biggest complaint about this game is definitely the loading screen like what what in the world is going on with that okay so we're going to select the powder keg going to there we go maybe maybe this would be a lot more effective there we go why didn't it do it the first time that's what i want to know why why was the game screwing up on me the first time jesus christ all right well so we're in another cave great i love caves i like turtles okay uh where do we go all right did not see this let's use our Handy Danny slingshot. Oh, nope. I did not need to do that yet. Okay, there we go. Let's make our way back over here. And let's shoot. Make our way down. All right. Now, interact. Let's jump across. Okay, good. We're doing it, guys. We are doing it. Okay. Looks like there's something to fight. Let's go ahead and get to it. Doesn't seem too friendly. Wish your mom was here. He'd know what to do. You have to fight. Of course you gotta fight it, bruh. So when the target gets close, you focus on it. B to dodge out of the way. Okay. Double B. 
right? I thought I did double B. I don't know. Anyways, my slingshot wasn't doing jack. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. Let's keep going. There we go. All right. Crocker. That was a crocker? That's a funny name for a... For an enemy. You crocker. All right. Here we go. Place it. Opened it up. Let's interact with that. Let's keep going. Lighten up the torches. I don't know if they do anything, but it makes me feel safer and warmer inside, guys. So we will light the torches up all day, every day. Oh, what, what's over here? What's going on? Oh, this was the first, uh, the first castle I was, I mean, the first dungeon I was in. So I... I found a way back home. That's cool. Let's see what this shit does. I don't think those do anything. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's go back outside. Share my story with a mom. So I need to go back to my friend. At least I made it back up top, right? That's cool. I survived. Oh, okay, we're good. I thought everything was destroyed and they weren't going to be here. Here we are. So we're talking to everybody. And it looks like my villagers are okay. So that's good. Holy frame rates right there. Look at this cutscene. The cutscenes definitely need some patch. And look at this frame rate. Holy crap. So I got to say, the frame rates and loading times of this game are extremely bad. That was just the introduction of the game. <laughs> You know, you got this game clearly has to be patched a lot, much more than what it is. Okay, so we are going to proceed. Now we're actually like past the beginning and we're in the game game. But yeah, you can see clearly like even looking at the shadow, it's a little glitchy. Um, there's a lot of stuff with this game that needs a lot of work. Here we go. Here's an enemy. What's this? What's this? That is an enemy. All right, we're in the exploration area. Let's uh, let's, let's get fighting, shall we? Oh look, I hope he's an enemy because I just started attacking the first person I saw. Oh, I got him. Die! Oh shoot! What the hell? Was he able to like regenerate his health? I am. I'm running away. <laughs> let's go, let's run. You run, Forrest, run. All right, so we're coming up. I think uh, the maps actually have me go this way. So let's go ahead, go to that checkpoint. What's this? Oh, it's a little cat dude again. Back so soon. It's can tell you humans. Some trouble happened. Another landslide. Can't live on a cliff any longer. All right, so just in, introduced donation boxes for uh, villages. So you can, you have to build affinity with uh, different tribes and stuff. So there's different tribes of creatures. That's interesting. So there's a little bit more of an element with, uh, with that, a relationship building element. So I wasn't expecting that. And that's kind of kind of cool i hope that guy ain't attacking me anymore i just kind of like vanished away uh i don't even know if i should try to run and jump across but let's just do it what's this do no idea that's the one thing oh my god i just oh i thought i died so one thing with games like this is i always end up just completely exploring and going off the beaten path and uh getting lost and Stuff like that. I could just get lost and immersed in, in games like this. So that's one thing that I like about it. But it does have a little bit of work to do with some of the, the graphical glitches and the errors and frame rates and stuff like that. But I could definitely see the potential in this one. Again, a game like this is going to call for hours of actually checking it out and discovering um, things about it and stuff. But you know what? This is an impressions video. And uh, I'm going to say I ain't got time for it right now. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, 
definitely does have some good impressions though leading up besides the the obvious frame rate issues and glares that you just saw there we saw a couple lighting glitches as well but there is potential with what we have here hopefully the developer can patch it up guys but i'm gonna end the video right there just in case maybe you guys also don't want to be spoiled with the story anything like that um some i'm going to be keeping a close eye on and maybe going back to for sure but impressions yeah there's potential just the frame rate and stuff like that is uh too glaring right now for me at some points but yeah comment down below and let me know what you think i'll see you on the next one peace out consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month link below in the description you want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.